there is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this case, I didn't ever post this in my two playthroughs previously, but now that I'm trying to get 100%, I decided I'm going to post this mission. It's called American Distillation, and you help the sheriff of Rhodes, who's obviously a drunkard, shut down some distills or some stills distills yeah stills that are run by his nemesis the braithwaite so let's get on with american distillation Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. Arthur gets to ride with the deputy, and he finds out more about the tensions between the Braithwaites and the Greys and how far back it goes. Basically, they don't like each other, and they try and harm each other's fortunes. And this is where we get the concept that they want to play, um, the gang wants to play both sides against each other and potentially come out rich. But it's a long conversation. I'm going to fast forward to the next point of interest. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? Come on, mister. Keep 
your eyes open. No, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Go. There's nothing more we can do here. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Well, you find out this guy's a politician, and he was killed by the Lemoyne Raiders, who are working with the Braithwaites. So, yeah, more slamming on the Braithwaites. They're not great people, neither are the Lemoyne Raiders. And you find out a little more about the Greys and some other stuff. Again, I'm just going to fast forward through the ride because you can hear it or all the conversation when you play this mission here we are so what was i saying something about the braithwaite's i think even saying that word makes me sick now Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Oh, the bridge over there. One, Bill. With pleasure.
just drop him with the others. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. You think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about you. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Ignore Bill and his complaining because he wants to get back and be done with the mission. Loot all the Lemoyne Raiders. Take your time doing it. Bill's just going to complain. You won't have a better opportunity to make a lot of extra cash and find some valuables that you can sell. So again, ignore Bill. Eventually he says fine and leaves you alone and goes away. Loot, loot, loot whenever you have the opportunity. Well done. <laughs> well, Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. 
Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Oh. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? <laughs> okay. You're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. Dutch challenges you to a race and obviously tries to cheat. But if you have a good enough horse and you use some stimulants, you can easily beat him. And I'm using my Arabian, the red chestnut Arabian, and yeah, I can easily beat Dutch. And a few stimulants to help. And my horse, Strawberry, can outrace Dutch easily. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. And there you have it, viewers, American Distillation. If you found this video interesting and enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, as well as some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.